Hi, Dr. Baumholtz. And uh, we just got asked a question. It was a great question. It was about a gal who was concerned about keloids following surgery, and she wanted to know what, if anything, could be done to uh, mitigate or decrease uh, the risk of keloids after a procedure. So, ke so first of all, let's talk about uh, scarring in general, right? So scarring, um, anytime you cut through or damage both the epidermis and the dermal layer of the skin, you're going to get some form of a scar in the healing process. Uh, there are some rare exceptions, um, uh, but that's generally it for most adults. Um, the scars can either be, we'll call them normal, we'll call them hypertrophic, we'll call them keloid. So a hypertrophic scar will stay in its original boundary. A keloid scar will extend beyond its uh, original boundary. And a normal scar, of course, is a normal scar. Typically, a scar takes about a year, sometimes even two years, to mature and fade if it's going to do that. All right, so you have a scar, you have a propensity for a scar, what can be done? Uh, the answer is surprisingly little in 2020, although there are some things that can help. So for example, um, of course, having the counseling session beforehand about how this is a possibility of any surgery, right? Um, then uh, postoperatively, once the wound is healed, massage, topical silicone, either in the form of sheets or creams, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then uh, we can get into some of the more um, complex things like uh, steroids or a drug called 5-FU. If we do 10 more to the keloid, we can talk about intense pulse light to lighten a scar that's still red at about a year, year and a half mark. When we get into surgery for scar, so someone developed a bad scar and they've come and they want that scar cut out, the real risk that I spend a lot of time talking to patients about is that there's a good chance that when you cut a scar out, you can end up with a worse scar. Of course, it depends how the original scar was made, right? So if I cut my arm because I fell off my bicycle versus uh, a surgeon cuts my arm with a scalpel, presumably the scar following surgery should heal better, but I'm here to tell you that's not always. Well, I hope that helps you. So following our surgery, um, we tend to uh, prescribe massage, scar cream, and of course, I forgot to mention earlier, sun protection, right? Sun, sun protection is really important in terms of the pigmentation of the scar. Not so much for the, the quality or thickness, but certainly the redness of the scar. Well, I hope that helps. If you'd like to know more, contact us at the office, and we hope to see you soon. It's Dr. Baumholtz. Have a great day.